hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel it's servant here thank you so much for clicking on the video do not forget to like comment subscribe click the notification bell you know the drill and today we are going to be making this beautiful and classy beaded bag it's sort of a triangular stepped beaded bag so i'm going to be taking you guys through the entire video don't forget to watch the entire video and as you can see you can have the bag plain or you can add a little jewelry to it like i did and you guys know i always do that so we are using 10 millimeter sugar beads that's how we call it here and this is a 0.80 a 0.8 fishing line then your scissors and of course if you were to add a chain there you're going to have a chain so you're going to cut whatever fishing line you have that's comfortable enough for you to work with then you're going to pick up four sugar beads and cross with the fourth beat. I apologize if there's any talk in the background, the TV is on. So you're going to um, cross with the fourth beat and you have your first circle of four, like so. First circle of four, then pick up three beads, put one bead on each side of the fishing line. Then the third bead, you're going to use that to cross. So you're going to continue doing this. That should pick up one bead on your left fishing line, one bead on your right fishing line, then you cross with the third bead. So you're going to continue doing this until you have a total of eight circle of beads. So here we are, if we want to count together, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight, then we are going to have, for our total row is going to be a nine, and our nine is going to be a turning bead. So with the fishing line on my right, I'm going to pick up three sugar beads on that one fishing line. Then I'm going to cross with the third bead, and that is going to cause our first turn. So it's going to end the first row, or the first, um, Part the first this first row that we've just done so it ends the first row and it prepares our fishing line for the second row as you can see our fishing line is facing the sides right now so you're going to insert three beads into the fishing line on my right again there's a fishing line facing away from your work and that is going to start row number two and we are simply going to continue now i always try to have my dominant hand um, on the side where I've already worked and my non-dominant hand is going to be in charge of picking up the beads so my dominant hand has just inserted the fishing line into the following bead then my non-dominant hand which is my left hand has picked up two beads and we cross with the second bead okay so we've crossed with the third bead right there I'm going to insert my fishing line into the following bead and I'm with my other hand, my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand, then I'm going to pick up two beads, then cross with the second bead. I hope that's what I said the first time. So you're picking up two beads at this stage only. So I'm going to insert my fishing line into the following bead as well. I hope you guys can see. Then pick up two beads with the other fishing line, and I am going to cross with the second bead. So we're going to continue this method until we get to the last but one bead and obviously it's going to be a turn to the next row so i'm going to show you guys how to do that so we are at the last but one bead and the next thing we are going to do is to insert our fishing line into the following bead like normal then the fishing line that's facing away from our work we are going to insert two beads now into that fishing line then we're going to cross to the second bead and that is going to cause our fishing line to lay on the sides instead of upward as you can see then that completes row number two and it prepares us for row number three so with the fishing line still facing upward we are going to insert three beads into that fishing line and cross with the third bead like so and I'm going to flip my work um, so that the part that I've already worked is on my right. Then I'm going to continue working normally. That is inserting my dominant hand into the following bead. The fish now my dominant hand into the following bead. Then using my other hand, I'm going to pick up two beads. And I am going to cross with the second bead. 
So insert my fishing line, pick up two beads and cross with the second bead. And this is basically how we are going to do this or to work this until we finally end up with a mat. Okay, so here's our mat. If you remember from the side, we had a total of nine beads. That's for the width. Then for the total length, if you count, it should be 18. So go ahead and count it. So I already continued the back off camera, but we are going to show you guys what I did. So I just did decreases. And we are going to be working on the side that we had 18 beads. So I'm going to try to adjust the lighting so you guys can see. So I'm going to insert my fishing line into that second bead right there. Not the first, the second bead right there. I'm going to insert my fishing line, the new fishing line. Then in the fishing line on my left, I'm going to pick up three beads and I'm going to cross with the third bead. So that's the first decrease that we've done. And that decrease is done by skipping the first bead at the side. So um, we're going to continue working normally how to um, work a beaded mat. And we are going to stop at the last but one bead. Guys, if there's anything confusing about the video, please do not hesitate to leave me a comment down in the comment section i am going to answer all of your questions do not forget to leave me that comment okay we are almost at the last but one bead so we are going to just pick up two beads and cross with the second bead right there and in the last but one bead what we are going to do is insert our fishing line in that last but one bead then using that same end of the fishing line we are going to pick up two beads and cross with the second bead right there so this is going to turn our work and we are going to start facing the other side instead of forward we're going to be facing the side then we want to skip that first bead again because we're doing a decrease so i'm going to maneuver or move my fishing line until it gets to that second bead so I've inserted my fishing line, so it has gotten to the side. I'm going to take the other side, insert it right there as you can see. If I'm not explaining it properly, you guys just go ahead and watch the video, go to the settings and even slow it down so that you'll be able to understand. So I'm pulling it right there. Then I'm going to move my fishing line again until both ends of the fishing line are coming out of that second bead right there. So now we have both ends of our fishing lines coming out of that second bead and we are going to continue. I'm going to turn my work because you guys know my main work is always on my right. And the fishing line that is on my left uh, or the one that's facing away from the work, I am going to pick up three beads, cross with the third, then continue the normal mat, beaded mat making method that is inserting, um, inserting the fishing line into the following bead then picking up two beads and crossing with the second bead and when we get to the end we are going to cause a decrease again and we are going to decrease till we have a total number of eight beads at the end so go ahead and decrease your work like so so we have eight beads on each end and don't forget the ba main base had nine beads so in case you get confused, this is how you remember. The horizontal row had 19 rows and it's the row that had the decreases while the vertical rows had 18 rows in total or has 18 rows in total. So we are going to count 3 beads from each side of the main base. 3 beads and we are going to fold it. So we are going to have 3 on the sides, 3 for the base and 3 for the other side as well. So you go ahead and fold after the third bead on each side. You just fold in order to create the, that um, triangular shape. 
somewhat that we are um, going for so just go ahead and fold your bags like you see or your mat as you see in the video So we're done folding and this is what it looks like and now we are going to build up the sides of our back. Now for the sides please do not skip, it can be a little tricky. So I'm taking my fishing line, inserting it into one bead at the corner and one bead at the bottom like so. Then I'm going to pick up two beads. I'm using my trusty torch to support so that you guys can see clearly. So you're going to pick up two beads with your fishing line that's facing upward and you're going to cross with the second bead like it's the regular thing that we have been doing so when you cross with the second bead like so you're going to insert your fishing line again into the following bead right there as always my work is on my right side where i can easily insert my fishing line then um, like I said, you're just inserting your fishing line into the following bead. Then in the other fishing line, you're going to pick up two beads and cross with the second bead. Now when we get to the third bead at the bottom, you're going to insert your fishing line into that third bead and into the very first bead from the side. And we're going to pick up just one bead and we are going to cross with the one bead. So that completes row number one for the sides. Now to begin row number two, I'm going to take my fishing line on my right, insert it into the following bead of the side. Then with that same fishing line, I'm going to pick up two beads and I'm going to cross with the second bead. Like so. Then insert my fishing line into the following bead, pick up two beads and cross with the second bead. You guys know the drill by now. Then insert my fishing line into the following bead and into the second bead from the side. So you're going to continue doing this until you complete that just that three row side. Then we're going to start working on the decreases. Guys, if at this point you've not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to like, leave a comment down below. Tell me how you what you think about the video. Then share this video to someone you might know and if you have any video or beat it back request send it to my instagram send a picture to my instagram and i will see to it that i deliver a tutorial okay we are about to work on the decrease part i call it a stepped part because when work on this decrease part it forms like a staircase sort of look or stepped so our first bead, as you can see, it's on the side instead of upward. So insert your fishing line on the side, pull it inside like this. And this next row is going to be flat. It's going to look flat and not upward. If that doesn't make sense, you're going to see in a bit. And you're going to continue working normally. Just pick up two beads, cross with the second bead, insert your fishing line into the next bead like so. The only difference is you're going to have some sort of a staircase look when you're working this part. I forgot to mention that this beaded bag, one of my subscribers um, sent me a photo of the bag. It was orange in color. If I find the photo and the chat, I'm going to um, put it in this video. Okay, so I finally found the chat. As you can see, it was since in May and I've been very inconsistent with posting so i apologize so that's the name osarugui i think oh but didn't mispronounce but yeah she sent me that video and i decided to do sorry that picture and i decided to do the tutorial so shout out to you okay so let's get right into the video by the way you can send your request i don't i won't be taking long to upload tutorials now because i am ready now i am steady and i'm ready for you guys so um as you can see as i spoke about that stepped or that staircase look that's how it's looking like and now the next row we are going to be moving upwards the first that first step row was a flat row but this one is going to be a row that is standing straight up so i just inserted my fishing line then you work normally okay guys the only thing that is going to change is 
that staircase sort of look yeah so um so i'm just putting two beads crossing with the second bead then inserting my fishing line into the following bead and i'm going to continue doing that i'm not going to fast forward i'm just going to allow you guys watch I deeply apologize for the noise, like people are talking, the TV is on and rain is constantly falling. So I apologize. Guys, after this tutorial, please go through my channel because I have like new and classy bags that um, I'm going to be dropping tutorials soon. One of my subscribers asked me to make a tassel beaded bag and I so badly want to make that. Um, but you guys just tell me down in the comment section if I get 50 50 comments asking me for that classy tassel beaded bag look 50 comments I'm going to drop that tutorial and I'm going to drop it real soon so you guys I'm waiting for you down in the comment section and please to share this video as well so yeah I'm just going to let you guys continue watching So we worked our entire back right to the TPT top. As you can see, that is how it looks right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and work the other side and complete it. And this is how she is looking like. So we just end with a staircase facing, you know, the floor of the staircase. So next thing we're going to do is to build up the handle. So the handle is a very very simple guys so you just insert your fishing line into that very first bead at the tip pick up one bead on the right fishing line one bead on the left fishing line cross with one bead and you are going to continue doing that So if you've been on my channel for long, if you're an old subscriber and if you're a new subscriber, just know that now that I'm an advocate for having firm and strong, sturdy beaded bags. I have a tutorial down on my channel on how to make your beaded bag sturdy and not soft and wonky and wobbly looking. So make sure you check out that tutorial. So make sure that when you're doing this bag, pull as hard as you can, okay? So that the bag is going to be strong. I'm an advocate. I'm an advocate for stiff beaded bags those beaded bags where if a thief is coming to steal something from you you are going to use it as a weapon yes that is what we do on this channel so we did um three beads we did three rows like normally then for the fourth row i turned that's putting three beads in one fishing line i turned like so then i am going to work across you guys remembered we ended up with i believe eight eight beads yes eight beads at the top so that is already the first bead there so i'm going to work um seven no six more i'm going to work six more beads then the seventh one is going to be a turn plus this first turn is going to make it eight i hope that made sense okay so you're going to continue working like so you guys can go ahead and count it yourselves because i can get confused of my own tutorial so yeah just continue inserting beads on your left fishing line right fishing line ask any questions if you have in the comment section i will be 
um, willing to uh, I'll always answer I always I always answer your comments so um, if there's particular videos or particular tutorials you want me to do please let me know down in the comment section as well so that is me counting and I just put seven and I'm about to do the eighth one the eighth one like I said is the turning one so I'm inserting three beads in the fishing line on my left and I'm going to cross with the other fishing line and that is going to turn it like so and I'm going to work three beads downwards that's three individual rows downwards till I get to the end of our beaded bag by the way this is not going to be all for the handle as you can see she's looking wobbly she's looking weak we don't do weak beaded bags here I repeat we don't do weak beaded bags here so we're going to fix that So as you can see, when I got to the end, I just picked up one bead on my left, one bead on my right, then inserted my fishing line into that first bead, then I am going to tie it off, tie off there, make it make the tie very strong, make it very strong, like so. Guys, I made this video so slow, so you guys can understand, okay? So if it's still not slow enough, like I said, go to the settings, then adjust the settings or the speed to your desired speed yes so now that i have tied it off or rather i'm still tying it off now what we are going to do to make that handle not so wobbly or weak we want the handle to be able to stand on her own she is independent so what we're going to do is we are going to use the same method that we use in working the handle but we are going to work backwards look how weak she is that's not the handle that we we promote on this channel so we're going to work backwards so we're just going to be inserting our fishing line through the beads when we reach the place where we need to cross we are going to cross the two fishing lines so basically we are going back over our work with another fishing line and this is what I I stressed on I showed two methods on how to make your beaded bag strong in that video I'm going to leave the link down in the description box on how to make your beaded bag um, strong or sturdy I this is one of the methods so um, just go ahead and watch that video if you are a beginner especially and your hand is not that um, strong to pull your beaded bag as strong as you would like it so I just work the two handles like I said I walk all through and you can see that handle is standing by herself and this is how our beaded bag is looking nice and cute. She is nice and plain. But if you've been on this channel for a long time, you know I don't do plain. Like plain is good once in a while, but it's not all the time that I do plain. So I just have this chain here. I know in the video I used a gold chain, but for this tutorial I used a uh, silver. Now, all you have to do is, you could use anything else. Like if you have another accessory, you can just add it to the bag. Anything works. Or if you like it plain, it's fine. There are some days that I take off the jewelry even because it's not that necessary but you guys know me. So I'm just counting down. So from that top of where the handle is, I counted three rows downwards, inserted a short fishing line, picked up one bead, picked up my chain, then I'm going to pick up another one bead again, then I am going to tie it off and that is it. That is how simple it is to attach a chain or a particular accessory looking like that on your beaded bag or any accessory for that matter okay so as you can see i don't know if you can tell but those are the two beads there that's a bead the chain and another bead so make sure that you use your old fishing line that you've cut from your work so that you do not waste it so i'm going to the other side and repeating the same thing as well pick up one bead up the chain 
and pick up another one bead then i'm going to tie it immediately so that is basically it for this tutorial all you need to do now is to tuck in your fishing line and you are done you are done this is a very classy bead bag you can check out the picture at the end of this video that was me holding it like it wasn't much but that's how the bag literally looks like in real life so yeah that is how she is looking very easy on a scale of 1 to 10, tell me how easy it is for you down in the comment section. I'll be waiting for you guys down there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much. You took me to 3,000 followers. That is a lot for me. I can't express how I appreciate you guys. So thank you. Please check out these other videos right here. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys, of course, in my next video. Bye.